Don't know if you know this or not, but The Matrix 4 started refilming in Germany. Listen, with the very futuristic, techy vibe I have going on with this video, Neo, Keanu Reeves, hit me up if you guys need an extra. I'm not there to talk, but I can certainly just stand there and look good in Nike. What's up everybody, it's your girl TJ, back with another video, Talks with TJ, aka TJ2, Swoosh Chains, and tons of Nike stuff in this video, well not tons, at least just a few pieces you probably don't see every day, so hey, what's up, welcome, if you are brand new, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, or if you like what you see, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, I appreciate you hitting the like button, trust me, it goes a long way for any creator, on this platform and to Swoosh Crew. You guys know, love you, appreciate you, so I definitely expect you to hit the like button. Without further ado, let's dive right in. I've done a few videos already, okay? So you know that I acquired the 2020, technically, yeah, 2020 uh, Nike Sakai LD Waffle Black Nylon via Trade Block. So I traded a dead stock, Air Jordan 4 bread, and a little bit of cash for the Sakai Waffle. I missed out March 2020 when it released. Really wanted this shoe. It's something different. So it's a totally different silhouette vibe style within my collection. Very, very happy to have this. Now, for styling, um, I really, it's crazy because as soon as I got the shoe in, I already had in my mind what I wanted to do. And it was just a very toned down in terms of color palette look. But I think it all flows really well because the Sakai kind of does have a little bit of a futuristic look to it. And maybe it has to do with the sleek all black on black, the double layering. I'm not sure. Maybe it's the mix of materials, the leather and the satin. Not sure. But to me, it spoke, hey, get as much Nike tech as you can involved in terms of the clothing. So that's exactly what I decided to do. So the very first outfit involved the Nike tech sportswear jacket. Now, again... I sourced this jacket on eBay. It was $20. You can find so many things on eBay. Please stop sleeping on eBay. Please stop sleeping on eBay. So I sourced the Nike sportswear tech jacket. I think I've already debuted this on my channel a while back when I was heavily buying jackets. I have a thing for jackets. It, it, it is what it is. I bought that jacket for $20 on eBay. And then, um, yes, the play off of Waffle. I am wearing a Waffle style Henley shirt. I think this is just from American Eagle. They have quite a few. I do plan to pick up more for the fall and winter season. And then the Nike Tech Fleece sweat. So I don't own tons of Tech Fleece sweats. I think maybe three pairs. They're nice, but I've certainly ventured off into uh, essential sweats as well. I think they will just kind of last better the, the as, as time goes on. But the black on black Nike Tech Fleece, again, sleek. It's very minimal, but it is uh, a little bit upscale for sweats. And it goes really well with the Nike Tech sportswear jacket. And then the black Sakai waffle. So very first outfit. If it was like, hey... I'm going to go out somewhere. Oh, okay. Well, listen, I'm still going to be in sweatpants. I'm still going to be comfortable, but I'll throw on a jacket for good measure, right? It's like the Nike version of a sport coat. 
but I actually do own a Nike blazer. It's a fleece blazer. And yes, it's very comfortable to wear. Second outfit, uh, it actually involves what I'm partly wearing here, which is the Nike Tech Poncho. Now, ladies, this released years and years ago, the very first time I saw Kirsty Gatso. She is a Nike master trainer. She wore this. Uh, I think she posted it on her Instagram, and then I kept seeing it on Pinterest. And she actually rocked this with some shorts and I, maybe some, Air, it was either Air Force Ones or maybe some Jordans. I'm not sure which one. I want to say Jordans though. I knew I had to have it. So I sourced this on eBay as well. eBay and, and uh, Poshmark are really good places. Just search, search Nike Tech Poncho and you're sure to come up uh, with it. Now it comes in this gray, the tech gray. It also comes in a black. So I have both colors. And my mom loved it so much, I had to go find her one like years ago and, and gift it to her. But the Nike Tech Poncho, perfect as well. I just love the tech aesthetic when it comes to the Sakai Waffle, the black nylon. I think it pairs really well together. And now the pants are actually full leather pants from H&M. So they sell out a lot, like really, really fast. And I think it's because they are very affordable. They're only like 20 or $25. Clearly, they're not actual leather pants. To purchase actual leather pants, you're probably going to have to pay $150 to $200, which, I mean, isn't bad if you know that you'll wear them a lot because any leather pants can be very versatile, especially for women. You can rock them with sneakers. You can choose to rock them with boots for a leather-on-leather -leather look. You can choose to rock them with heels. I am just not a woman that does heels whatsoever, never, ever, ever. I don't do heels, so... For me, it's, it's, it's pairing them with sneakers to give it a, a little bit of a classier look, right? It's, it's certainly a different alternative to jeans, certainly to sweatpants, and even to cargo pants. You guys see me sell tons of cargo pants on this channel, so I said, why not uh, go for something a little bit different? So you have the very sleek fitted uh, faux leather pants from H&M with this top now. It's definitely a play on proportions because this is a boxier, wider fit. It's baggier on top with the skinnier fit, okay? So the slimmer fit on the bottom. It's always fun to play around with proportions. I think that's how you can style any outfit to make it look as if I somewhat know what I'm doing because I'm not a stylist and have zero idea what I'm doing. I just, I look around and I see things, okay? Like... I think Jerry Lorenzo said shape is the subtle way to be the most loud or something of that nature. Listen, if you play around with shape and you get shape right, you can look as if you really do know what you're doing in terms of putting an outfit together. And I think that's what happened here. Again, Neo, Keanu Reeves. Okay, listen, I'm available. I just need you to, you know, fly me out and things like that. I technically work from home. I, I think I could work from there if you just want me to stand in as like an extra because I feel like if I'm within the actual matrix these outfits work I'm not saying I want to be any of the agents or anything of that nature but I, I feel like it works so it was fun I just got out uh early actually on uh, my Sunday and shot this for you guys so hopefully you enjoy if you are on the fence about picking up the Sakai waffle at any point pick it up very very comfortable yes i now want the white nylon and i want the other pairs as well but the mesh pairs that came out previously before 2020 are a higher priced they're higher price sneakers so I'll, I'll bide my time and eventually maybe get one of those but the white nylon for sure is another one that i want so thank you guys again so much for tuning in as always act your age not your shoe size hopefully you enjoyed this video also check out trade block peace out